I'm wonderful. It, it's been great. I mean, we started the day this morning um, on a tramp, a chimp trek. Um, I didn't know how how much I would gain from it um, until I got there. Um, I was happy to see as a lot of people that are, you know, I guess this is the high season, um, but there was so many people wanting to come and see the chimps. I appreciated seeing that and the preservation of them. But then I saw that there were groups of like 20 walking and, you know, the chimps, the only time they move like that is if they're moving on, you know, it's some stressful situation. So they see 20, 30 people gathering around them and pulling up these little things. I mean, they've got to think that they're under attack to some degree. It's that fishbowl kind of thing. I was wishing that they would limit it to like six people at a given time so they don't get frightened, but loved everything about that. Yes, first time and last time. I think they need their own space. I think we need more space for them. That was one of the main reasons of me coming here. You know, I came here as a minister of the Church of Truth, and Truth, Love, and Consciousness, and in an attempt to try and gain a better understanding of myself from my roots, but also the needs of those that are from my 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 nature, that look like my family, those that look like people that that I've seen in my past, but I've been separated from, you know, um, and to set up education centers, to set up um, spiritual centers, you know, to learn the truth, the unadulterated truth. Well, I mean, we have stories that we're told as children. There comes a point when you learn the truth about Santa Claus. And it's a painful truth. It wrecks a whole lot of traditions. But from it, you take on the responsibility of being the Santa Claus and bringing the gifts and making miracles happen when you let go of the idea someone else will. So a lot of those things have to come into understanding. And I was so grateful, you know, to be invited here by the head of state because even in my own country, here I am an actor. Right, nominated for Oscars, for Academy, for all kind of awards, every possible kind of award, right? Um, that I would think when I was invited to come and share some of my discoveries here. That's being honored. That's being appreciated. It's now time to put Uganda to its task, you know? It's the smartest and most beautiful people on the planet. It's the pearl of Africa, let it shine now. So that's what I want to do here. I'm here for, I'm here for the children and the people. And I look forward to one day when the GDP from Uganda is in the trillions, not from things they're exporting as the, the raw materials of Uganda, but as the, the the gifts and the fruits of, of young men and women's minds when they take the cap off of them and give them a technology that no one else has been given, a new education. My highlight, I've never met a king before. And yesterday I got to sit and was given a name by the king of Toro. Do you remember the name? Arali. A body. Wow. Good memory right there. And what's the meaning? Do you know what the meaning is? Um, uh, 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 Arali means, you know, peaceful with fire, like lightning. And a body, I think if I say it right, it's um, a loyal love. So, it's... That's been the greatest part because it's on the same day as our son's birthday. So now we have a name day that's with our son's birthday and I got to meet the king and the king knew me, knew my work and the queen mother knew me and, and they gave us so much honor that um, 
Yeah, that that touched me. That's yeah. That's that's been the highlight right now. That's that in itself. Just like well, you know.